Welcome guys, my name is Ranzi Karki and I'll be the instructor for this course. So in this course, we are going to build a complete job web portal using the Laravel. Along with the job portal, we are also building other minor projects. So this is an overview of project that we are going to build during this course. So you can see here, we have a search engine here. If we have a find job here and you can find a job based on the keyword and the location. And just below the search, we have a categories, popular categories. This is one of the most important feature in the job portal. And you can see here, there are 20 jobs that belongs to the category technology. Similarly, there are 16 jobs that belongs to category engineering. So this is one of the most important features. So we have also included job search through the categories. And if you scroll down, you can see the list of the recent jobs that is posted in this system. And we have also categorized these jobs based on the part-time, full-time and the freelance jobs. And even if you scroll down with a testimonial section, which is managed by the admin, and even if you scroll down, we have a nice blogging system and this all block is managed by the admin. And on click you, when you click this, the link, you'll read all the blogs. Similarly, we have a job seeker registration form. Once you register as a job seeker, a email verification link will send to your email box and you'll be able to log in once you verify your account. And this is for both the job seeker and job employer. Here is the company. Here you can see the company and when you click the company, you can see the company pays here and everything about the company you can learn. And if there is any jobs of that company, we'll also list the jobs. For example, this company, the name of company, this has one jobs here. And here you can click apply and you can learn more details about the company. You can see the description, roles, responsibility, and many things about the jobs. And here you can see the short information about the jobs. So last day to apply the jobs and many things. So these data are actually faced by the faker, so it may not be correct. Actually, this is not a real data, but this is the information that we're going to show, okay? And even if you scroll down, you can see the job recommendation. So this is the one of the nice and the cool features. So when you go to the jobs and if there is any recommendation that matches to your source criteria, then we recommend a user similar type of job. So and again, here is the visit company page link. By clicking, you can visit the company page, all right? Now let's go and search for the job. So if I write a software here, and if I give one of the arrays, let's say Melbourne, or yeah, Melbourne, and if I click here, you can see one job is found, and here you, even you can filter the jobs from here. Okay, so we have a lot of jobs, and if you, even you click here, you'll see the details of this job. And here one most important feature is that you can mail this job to someone. For example, I want to mail this job to one of my friend, John Doe. Let's write, let's write my name. My name is this and let's write my email. And the person name for whom I'm going to uh, send this job is John and I write his email ID here. And after I write email ID, I click the mail this job and it will automatically send this link to my friend email box and you can see here mail sent to this address and here I got a one email address one here you can see and by clicking here you can come to again this page and you can apply for this job or you can if you like okay so this is one of the cool feature we implemented in this web portal so again if you scroll down here you can see we have 20 jobs related to technology and here you can get all the jobs so by clicking this you can get the details of the jobs and even you scroll down we have so more jobs and if you click the show more jobs here you get all the jobs and here you can filter the jobs okay by choosing what you require so here you can filter all the jobs so now let's log in as a job seeker so I have an account so I log in as a job seeker so let me log in so once I log in as a job seeker then I'll have more functionality here so I am in my dashboard section and these are the job that I, I have saved 
okay here and if I go here I can read this job here and now I can apply this job as well because I'm now logging and if I click this my application sent successfully and this all happened without a page refresh and this feature is implemented using the Vue.js now I can save and unsave as well this job now even I go to dashboard here and here I can manage my profile so I can change my avatar I can change my uh, arrays I can change everything I can change my cover photo I can change the cover letter resume everything so this is also one of the nice features for the seeker part so when you logged in as a seeker you'll have the more option here so now let's look on the employer part for employer section one need to register as an employer and once he register as an employer our email verification link will be sent to his email box and once the email verification is completed then only he will be able to log into the system so here i want to log in with my existing employer account and let's have a demo on the employer section so i provide my username and the password and I click the login and I'm redirected to my company profile page here on the left side you can see this is the my company logo here I can can update the company logo by selecting company logo here I can update my old information of the company and here is the website here is the page of the, my company and you can see this is the my page of the company so and here you can also update the cover photo of your company okay so these are the features in the employer part and again if you click here you can see this is the name of my company and you can click here and see my job section so this is the jobs that I have posted in this application so I have posted one job and I can read the jobs and I can edit the jobs so if I go to edit section here I can edit whatever I need so let me edit that so I can edit these jobs so I get a job successfully edited. I can post a job. So you should provide all the details about the jobs. And once you provide all the details, you can click the submit button. And here you can see we have a nice validation as well. And here one more feature is the applicant. So whenever you post a job, some user might have applied to your job, right? So you need to get which applicant has applied to your particular jobs. So here I have one job and if I go to applicant section, somebody has already applied to their jobs. And here I can see two user has applied to my jobs with the title job developer needed. So in these jobs, in these jobs, you can see in these jobs, particular jobs, I got a two applicant here. And this is the details of those applicant here. Here I can download the resume, I can download their cover photo. And I can read the cover photo and then I can hire based on the type of developers or type of employee that I need. So this is all about the employer section. Now let's look about the admin section. So I log out from here and now let's log in as an admin. So here we have an admin as well in our application who is able to manage all this application. So let's log in as an admin. So I'll provide the admin email and admin password and I click the login and once you click login you are redirected to the dashboard section here. So these are the posts that is available here at the front end. If you go here and if you scroll down at the button we have a blog post here and this all the posts are managed by the admin and he can edit the post he can delete the post so once you delete post you will get a nice confirmation and you can delete this post and once this post is deleted it goes to thrash and from here you can restore all the post again and if you go to the home page now we have more post and you can also enable or disable the post by clicking this link so if I click now my post is a draft so if I again click now my post is live and once it's live it is faced at the front end so this is one of the cool thing and here you can edit all of your post here blog post and here you can create the blog post you can create a new blog post now here we have a testimonial section which you can see here just above here so this testimonial section is also the dynamic testimonial section 
and we have one testimony section so admin can create a testimonial section we can provide the content and the person who has left a testimonial and then submit this so we have a nice validation here as well and admin has also ability to control over the jobs so if you click the view link you can get all the jobs that are posted in our applications here you can see all of the jobs and we can read the jobs and we can enable or disable the jobs at any time so this is also one of the nice features in our job portal app but this is not only we are going to build we are going from the basic step so let's have overview of what we are going to learn so before building the real world apps like the job portal we are going through the basic steps and before building this advanced project we are going through the some minor steps and here we can see we have another application which is the gallery app and i am logged in now as an admin so if i log in as an admin i can you can see here i have a three album created and these are the album name this is the album picture and here i can create an album so here we have a jQuery validation and I can name album name. Suppose I write a football as my album name and I can browse the image for my album. So I can browse, I can even upload the multiple images for my album. So we can learn the multiple functionality using the jQuery. So let me upload two images and it say album created successfully. And once I go here, now I have a new album with the name football. And here we have a default pictures so you can change the album name anytime you want so by clicking here you can browse one of the photo and you can change the album name here album picture so my album picture has been changed successfully and I can even go here and you can see I have a two images in my album and even I can upload the multiple images from here so let me uh, upload some of the images for this album so here so let me upload two images so you can see i have now four images for my album so i can delete the images as well and before you delete you have a confirmation and once you click delete the al images have been deleted from your album okay so only images not deleted from your database the images are also deleted from your directory so this is one of the cool app that we are going to build in the jQuery and using the Laravel. So you'll also learn a lot of things from this. And once you log out from a system as an admin, so you are now user. Now you can only view the album, but you have no any functionality to add album or delete the album. And not only this, before this, we are going through the basic steps. You can see here. We are learning the basic, we are learning how to install the jam, how to set up the environment. We are learning about the database, routing, pagination, seeder file, how to create a migration. Everything we are learning the basic steps like uh, how to deal with the form, how to get the input. And then we go to the important concept of the Laravel that is the relationship. So we learn everything about the relationship. After learning relationship, now we are going through the progress and now we'll build our first cloud app so here we'll build the first cloud app we'll learn how to create we'll learn how to delete read and we'll also learn how to validate even a pagination so once we build a first cloud app then we'll mix the rest api we'll start the in learning the importance of rest api and we'll do the basic of rest api here and then we go through the gallery app which i have shown the demo and then we go through building an advanced job web portal okay so in this course you learn a lot of things so basic will not make you a perfect developer you should learn to develop the real world app schedule so i hope you guys will really enjoy this course and you guys will really enroll in my course